son of the soil. It was 22nd July 1947. A former commander of the then Royal Air Force was having dinner with his wife at his residence. At about 10 p.m. the phone started ringing. Within minutes after lifting the phone, he could well understand that the call was from none other than the Prime Minister designate of the country Sri Jawaharlal Nehru. Nehru, who incidentally was one of his close friends and well-wishers too. After talking to him for a few minutes, he returned to the dining table visibly extremely disturbed. Finding him in a state of absent-mindedness, his wife asked him, What is the matter? Why you appear to be so much tensed? Whose phone call was it? The officer replied, I have to immediately rush to Indonesia with my personal plane. I have to rescue a VIP secretly from the vigilance of the Dutch army and fly back with him. When this becomes a directive from Nehruji, I consider this of utmost importance and necessity. In that case, a co-pilot has to accompany me. But how can I involve a person knowing fully about the secret operation and risks associated with the operation? Smilingly, his wife replied, Darling, do you not consider me who is having a license of flying 900 hours as pilot? Don't worry, I shall accompany you in the operation. The officer became dumbfounded to this proposal coming from his wife and curiously asked her how could they proceed leaving their nine-month-old baby. The wife replied, Oh, don't worry. It's a matter of few hours only. The nanny shall look after the baby till the time they return. She said all these confidently as if they were out for a night party. And what happened thereafter has become history. They left their residence for Palom Airport where his personal Dakota plane awaited their arrival. The ATC granted clearance for flying on special instruction from higher authority and the wing commander flew to Jakarta, capital of Indonesia, with his wife seated beside him. Indonesia, a country of islands, was under the clutches of the Duchess since 1816. Japan captured the country during the Second World War. When the Duchess surrendered, Sukarno of the Nationalist Party of Indonesia declared independence, though in majority islands, Duchess kept their control. However, under pressure from various parts, they agreed for total independence of Indonesia, effective 25th March 1947 but delayed their tactics under various pretexts. Ultimately, the Dutch forces get out the Mardeka Palace on 21st July and imprisoned all ministers. Sukrono and the Prime Minister Sultan Jahirir though went underground but could not leave the country as they were under strong vigil by the Dutch army. Jairir's release were of utmost importance for UNO and for the whole world to ascertain the exact situation prevailing in Indonesia. It was under such a prevalent situation, Nehruji's help was sought for and hence this operation. On 24 July, the Dakota plane landed at the Palm Airport with a lone passenger, Sultan Jairir, and thus ended the spine-chilling mission. After receiving independence from Holland as a symbol of gratitude, love and affection, Indonesia conferred the highest civil award for their country, Son of the Soil, to the Wing Commander, which so far has not been awarded to anybody. After Indian independence in 1947, the said Wing Commander, Compilot, was inducted in the Cabinet of Ministers to look after the Steel and Mines Ministry and later on served as the Chief Minister of the neighboring state, namely Odisha. Could you now recognize the main character of the whole mission? The pilot was Sri Biju Patnaik and the co-pilot, his Punjabi wife from Lahore, Gyan Kaur, who was incidentally the first commercial lady pilot of the country. The nine-month baby, Sri Naveen Patnaik, present Chief Minister of Odisha.